Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to make a spicy baked fed in tomato dip. Let's get it. Alright, guys, to start off this recipe here, we have our cast iron skillet. Uh, we put down a block of feta cheese. Um, I didn't drain it or anything, didn't worry about that because it's gonna be a lot of liquid in this dish anyway. I mean, that little, that little amount isn't gonna hurt anything. Uh, we then put down two boxes of cherry tomatoes. Um, after I put the tomatoes down, I was like, this looks like it's too much, too many tomatoes for this dish. So I went ahead and took about a quarter of one of the cartons out. After we took out the tomatoes, went ahead and uh, went ahead and seasoned this up, added in some rough chopped garlic, some whole fresh garlic. Now put in some chopped jalapenos, seasoned it with some kosher salt, some black pepper, some Italian seasoning, and then we just dribbled some olive oil over top of that. After I did that, I was ready to put it in the oven and I was like, I might as well just put the rest of these tomatoes back into the carton. <laughs> and we put that in the oven. Put that in the oven at a 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. And this is how it looked once it came out of the oven. Um, I kind of wanted to just leave it just like this and try to serve it like this because this looked pretty good, <laughs> pretty good as is. But um, we had to go ahead and mix all this in together. So I let this, uh, just cool down and stop sizzling for a second so that way once I started mashing it up that it wouldn't splatter or anything and took our uh, potato masher and just crushed the uh, tomatoes that were already softened and ready to burst and mix it all in with a set of cheese and that's it yeah, <laughs> this is a, a very simple dish to make um, and we went ahead and taste this uh, with some cauliflower florets um, you know just took a bag of the frozen cauliflower and put it in the microwave uh, for the recommended four to five minutes. Let that uh, cook and steam. Basically did that while the uh, dip was cooking in the oven. And um, you can see it coated the cauliflower well. Um, now most people when they make this, it's not necessarily a dish, it's a, it's, it's a pasta. Uh, they basically uh, use this and cook it with uh, pasta noodles and penne noodles or whatever type you like. And then just basically pour this uh, sauce over top of it and eat the pasta like that but as you know with keto we're not doing any pasta and you could do that with some zucchini noodles or you can do it with uh, uh zoodles or um some of the uh zero carb noodles or mushroom noodles uh but we wanted to make a dip out of it so that's basically what we did um went ahead and did a taste test here added some tabasco sauce to the cauliflower florets for some additional heat and uh, went ahead and did another taste test, taste test for the camera. Um, <laughs> dropped a little bit of the uh, dip off the cauliflower and didn't get a good zoom in on that, but sorry about that. But uh, went ahead and tried with the cauliflower. Cauliflower, uh, you know, taste of cauliflower is pretty nothing, it's pretty bland. So you just really pretty much using it as a holder and you're tasting the dip. Uh, for the celery, close up of the celery still no zoom in just looking straight into my eyes uh the uh <laughs> the celery had to me personally i like the celery better than dipping it with the cauliflower now there wasn't anything wrong with the cauliflower but I, I, the celery just added a more of a crunch as well as uh you got the flavor of the celery in with the bite um the cauliflower was a, was a little softer uh, but they both work well so if you don't have any celery you can definitely use that or you can try doing it with carrots but we were, we were doing this as a dipping sauce so we wanted to dip it with different ingredients um the jalapenos brought a nice spiciness to it along with the garlic um depending on where you got your dip at i mean if you could have i could have chopped the garlic up a lot a lot uh smoother but the roasted garlic worked out well with this also so um, different bites may give you a different flavor, like a little bit of spice from jalapeno, a little bit of the garlic, uh, the feta and tomato all throughout the whole dish. This, this was very quick, very easy, and a nice dip to, to serve. Um, if anyone has any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. And
enjoy and please subscribe and enjoy hey guys as always please like share and subscribe if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below all menu items are listed in the description box and thank you guys for watching